Greetings, infinite blessings, and welcome to another episode of Together We Rise. My name is Kane Stromberg, and it is my passion and purpose to inspire you to empower yourself. In today's episode, we are discussing five very unique and powerful ways to raise your vibration. Five ways that nobody else has brought you or shared with you and the truth and the reason that these work. Raising your vibration is simply raising the energetic frequency within your body. Look at yourself like a battery. The less resistance, the less drain, the more charge that you have, the more you are able to do. And very quickly, before we actually step into the five ways to raise your vibration, picture yourself again as an electronic device. You are an electrical being, you have an electrical current traveling through your body and to raise your vibration is to raise the frequency of this current to raise your ability to house this energy this universal energy which is all around you at all times all you are doing is removing any forms of resistance or anything which defies your ability to flow in harmony with who you are so like a phone if you are running five or ten apps at one time is going to drain the battery more so than if you're only focused on one or two things at a time. And if you don't fully charge your phone by having a good night's sleep, then the battery will not be fully charged and able to perform as well the following day. I ask that you make one simple change going forward, doing so now before we actually step into this episode. That change is to put your phone on silent or aeroplane mode more beneficially whilst you sleep. Subconscious mind is always listening, it's always learning, it's always aware. And if your phone bleeps and brings with it a feel-good factor of somebody having liked your post or connected with you or replied to you, then your subconscious mind, even whilst you sleep, will be listening out to that familiar beep. It doesn't mean anything other than a feel-good factor is being brought along with it. And it will listen to it without actually fully allowing you to relax. Waking up in the middle of the night to check your phone to see if you are good enough in the eyes of another person. Worth is one of the most fundamental blockages to rediscover and realign with the truth of who you are and it's always an element that I start with when I work with my clients in our sessions. Those of you that don't know, my name is Kane Stromberg. I am a soul coach and in a completion master and it is my passion and purpose to create a world of true equality for all through the liberation and empowerment of you. It all starts with you. And it all ends with you. Be the change you wish to see in the world and create it and echo it out from you. If you have not yet done so, please ensure that you have subscribed to the channel and listen up to the end of this episode because there is going to be a very, very life-changing announcement and competition to enter in order to gain something that would otherwise cost you a monetary exchange of energy As everything is energy, money is energy. And any time that you have a blockage of something, it is the defiance of it through the feeling of not being worthy of it. Okay? Money is just energy. And I'm actually removing the monetary context of energy from the ability to you, for you, to be able to utilize one of our courses. Then all you need to do is invest the time and energy required to actually complete that course. Put the energy in and get the results out. As you can only ever do that in life with the information that you have at your disposal. So, the first way to raise your vibration. 
the most important fact or factor in any situation. Acceptance. Acceptance of all that was, is, or ever shall be. That, my friends, is what will set you free. The term acceptance is to consent to receive. It's to accept, to consent to that which has already taken place. Something's happened in the past. You try to deny it or defy it. You are putting energy in towards blocking and denying reality as it is. This will continuously drain you as though there is something trying to walk along a path and you're trying to push it back. You can't hold back a elephant from walking the path it is walking. Trying to deny that it's there is only going to create suffering and pain. Accepting the elephant's there, stepping out of the way from it and allowing it to go past, allowing it to flow through, that is what will set you free. That is an instant way of raising your vibration, to live in acceptance of all that is. All that is, was or ever shall be. It removes the resistance contained within your physical body. It removes the resistance contained in your energetic body. And straight away, say you have 10 units of energy, you can use all of those 10 units as opposed to spending three or four trying to deny something that happened in the past. That instantly will allow you to experience a raise in vibration. It won't actually physically raise your vibration, but it will allow you to use everything that you already have in the direction of your choice. Okay, acceptance is the first step in the five steps to freedom. It is always the first step in overcoming or addressing any issue. Acceptance of what is. If it's raining, accept it, use an umbrella, then you don't get wet. If there's something blocking your path and you deny it, you will just continuously walk into it, being blocked and discouraged and disheartened by it. By accepting it's there, you can do the work to overcome it to learn from it, to transcend it, to let it go and exist in that state of flow. And through acceptance, you are able to then align with what was probably my most groundbreaking and life-changing element to fully embody on a daily practice. So the second way, second way to raise your vibration is gratitude. Gratitude for all that is, all that was, all that ever shall be. It's always gratitude. To be grateful for everything in your life means that you are able to then accept more of it to you. If you are disheartened or try to deny something in reality, then you are blocking the acceptance of it. If you are wishing for something more, I really want more love. I want more money. I want more friends. Whatever it is you want more of, I want to be more spiritually awakened. Whatever you want, you are vibrating in a lack of. And you are saying to the universe around you, show me the lack of. Because that is what you are asking for by saying that you want. Instead, the way to receive more abundance is to be grateful for the areas that you have abundance in already. If there is, again, let's say there's 10 factors in life and four of them are quite good, three of them are a bit lacking and the other three you're very abundant in. So focus on the three that you're abundant in. I'm abundant in love. Love is all around me. Love is everywhere that I go. I breathe it in. I feel it. I see it. I embody it. I am it. It's all love. Love is the most beautiful aspect and vibrational harmonic being resonant that you can adopt. Love is the truth. It's always love. And those of you that know me know it is always love that is the answer. It's love that is the answer. Love that is the key. The key that would unlock that door deep within and set not only you but the whole world free. It's always love. So <laughs> Whatever you have, be grateful for, and then spread it to the areas around you that you do not have that within. Like a candle, carry that candle with you wherever you go, and it will light up the darkness wherever you travel. Carry that gratitude in your heart, 
for all things. And wherever you go, you will be grateful because you are carrying that light with you, the light that is you. The light within you is brighter than even a thousand suns. And adopting and fully embodying that belief, that truth, that knowledge, that wisdom, that fact of life means that wherever you go, you brighten up not only the surroundings and the lives of those around you, but you live within that light. And everything in the light is light. Nothing but the light can exist within the light. Be grateful for what you have and build that gratitude, spreading it to the areas around you, creating a bubble of gratitude that engulfs everything that you experience. Acceptance and gratitude. And in gratitude, quite often we are grateful for when somebody does an act of kindness to us, when we receive something that we did not expect, when somebody is kind-hearted. To do an act of kindness to another person, to do an act of kindness to yourself, is a way of instantly raising your vibration. This is linked into the element of worth once again, as we can only experience that in life that we feel worthy of experiencing. And by going about performing acts of kindness to another person, doing kind deeds, giving your time, your energy, your wisdom, your knowledge, whatever it is to another, not only do you feel worthy of then attracting to you that which you wish to experience. But in truth, the reason it works is because the universe is abundant. You are the universe. When you flow through you kindness, compassion and wisdom to another person, you experience and embody it yourself. And the more that you flow through you, the larger the area that you then can actually embody body and sustain within yourself. The more that you flow water along a river, the wider over the period of time the river becomes, the more water that enters into the pool, into the lake at the end of that river, before it travels on to return to the ocean, as all water does, the more water it holds, the more water it can give to those around it and the more water it has itself. So to raise your vibration is to feel worthy of doing so. The quickest way to enlightenment is to perform acts of kindness and compassion to another person. Compassion to another is a great place to start, but in truth, my friends, my brothers, my sisters, it all starts with you as it all starts from your own heart. An act of compassion and kindness must be performed within in order to be echoed and shone outside to another. It all starts with you. Accept what is. Look for the gratitude and the benefits that are already in the world around you and do acts of kindness upon yourself first and then others. Today, I got a puncture on my bike and walking home somebody cycling past an amazing old gentleman stopped and offered me assistance asked how I was told me where he lived and that any time that I had any issues with my bike if I was near his to drop it off at his to take his bike he would repair mine for me and then I could go and return to get my bike back once he had fixed it and return his bike to him it warmed my heart and it, it electrified my soul. It lifted and elevated me to see the kindness in him. And I shone that kindness back upon him. I told him what an amazing person he is and how grateful I am for him and all that he does. Simple acts of kindness and compassion and keeping that connection in the community alive. Do not separate from other people. Do not enter into a state of fear. Stay in that state of liberation and raise your vibration. Don't separate. Instead, unite. 
Separation within the self causes fragmentation and issues and then requires reintegration. This is the work I specialize in. Separation in society through whatever means that the powers that be wish to seek and use to divide and conquer us. Divided, we are conquered. Now and forever, we are in this together. United we stand and together we rise. It's the philosophy I live by and the reason I do all that I do. So, one, two, three, four. The fourth way, the most expansive and broad way to raise your vibration is to be mindful of all that is. To stay aware, to stay mindful and able to separate egoic attachment, but to keep and remain that higher and separate perspective getting egoically attached to something, oh, they hurt me, they wronged me, they pained me, pulls you down. To stay separate and in that mindful state of being, to allow the thoughts to flow in and out again, not attaching to them, not lowering yourself, or in truth, lowering yourself. Feeling sometimes that they lower you, but the next step, the final step, will explain the reason why you create it all. And that, that is fundamentally the reason why any of it works. So being mindful, staying mindful, staying in that place of creatorship. Okay, how does this work? What's this here to show me? This has happened. Okay, interesting. I was affected in this way. I can see that it wouldn't really be beneficial to continue down that path, but it was interesting that I did instantly go to that point. Then I accept it. I accept it. I'm grateful for it so that I can learn from it. And I will stay aware of it. Acting from a place of kindness to myself for having been affected in that way, acting in a place of kindness for the other person because they are running their own programs and don't know what they do themselves and staying mindful and aware of it all. From that higher perspective, from the bird's eye view, it is easy to see. When another person has an issue in life, it is easy to see the answer to it because it is not your issue. When it's your issue, it is very easy to get pulled in into that separation and illusion of cheer once again. To put on the mask of separation that is being used to govern and control us all. How big is your hand? Held in front of your face, it's all you can see. Can't see properly, you can't breathe properly. But you feel safe. And you can look at that issue really close up. And maybe from that really close perspective, you'll find the answer. No, can't see anything from there. Separate, stay mindful, disattach, lower your hand back to your side where it belongs, change your perspective, and with it, discover the answer. By changing your perspective, realizing that your hand has another side and that the answer is on the back. But if you'd held that hand there, you would never have seen the answer on the reverse. And the reason, the fifth way to raise your vibration, the most powerful way, and the reason that it all works, is to stay in a place of creatorship. Everything in existence is consciously created. By consciously having a thought within your mind and then writing it down, you create it in the physical. Everything that is in this room, Everything that is in this world, everything that is in this universe and reality was consciously created. Prime Creator created it all, and you create every element and experience you have in life. It's all there to learn and to grow from. Staying in a place of ownership, authenticity, and creatorship means that you are fully embodied and aligned with the truth of who you are. 
the universe itself, the creator in all ways. Next time, every time something happens to you, own it. Choose it. I choose this. I choose for it to be raining and to be getting wet because it allows me the learning to bring an umbrella next time so the next time I do not get wet. Returning to the rain factor because it's dark and looks like it's going to rain outside, but whatever it is, I choose to fall over and scrape my knee because in the falling over, I learn how to get back up. I choose to fail over and over again because failure is something positive and I will teach and educate those around me and the children of the future that failure is positive. Falling around in learnings until realizing everything. This is failure. This is life. Choose it. Embrace it. Own it. Own everything you do in life. There are only two fundamental ways of existence, light and dark, love and the separation of it, which is closest linked to fear, creator and victim. If you are not creating, you are in a place of victimhood. Never wait for anything or anybody else. Waiting is not creating. I am always creating and never waiting. I exist in a state of full embodiment of the truth of who I am. I have my ups and downs. That is why I surf those waves of existence. Cosmic surfing for eternity. As we energetically dance together in this play that we call life, leading each other back home to the self. Ownership, creatorship. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So say I. And I just realised to be truthful, as always, that acceptance of what is and allowing or the feeling of worth through performing acts of kindness to another person is acceptance in the same manner, but in a different context. You accept that there is something blocking your path, let go of the resistance so that you can flow free and use the energy and the vibrational embodiment that you already have. By act, performing acts of kindness and then feeling worthy of having your vibration raised because of it, you are accepting that to flow through you that you are yourself. So again, it's just acceptance. Acceptance is one of the most fundamental key elements. So is that four or five? Because really worth and an act of kindness to another person to feel worthy is accepting the vibration to come through you that is you anyway. And that is why all of the issues and all of the techniques, all of the elements work. Every time we put a label on something to Filter your water is an amazing way to raise your vibration. But if you become caught up on having to filter your water, it becomes an issue. Oh, I can't drink that water because it's not filtered. It's, it's water, it's still gonna be beneficial compared to not drinking the water, okay? And only by attaching the fact that it is negative to it will you create it so. The only reason that filtering your water, it does biologically and energetically actually benefit you, it does. But it's because you create it so that it is. Your mind, your consciousness, which is connected to your mind, which is connected to your higher self, is more powerful than you could ever fathom. You have the ability to transcend time, space and any limitations within this realm. Simply close your eyes, picture yourself, and you can fly. There is nothing you cannot experience consciously. And everything that is reality is only 
your conscious interpretation and experience of it. The past only exists within your mind. The present, this current moment, only exists within your mind. And the future only exists within your mind. You can create it as big or as small, as expansive or restrictive as you choose. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So, the announcement. We have recently created some very, very expansive and life-changing courses. The most powerful course ever created that houses over 55 video installments as well as all the written lessons and education, knowledge, a true fountain of wisdom and treasure chest of knowledge. Seven weeks to enlightenment. It's all found on the course, on the website. All the courses are on the website. Seven Weeks to Enlightenment is our most amazing course, the most life-changing and powerful course ever created. There is nothing like it. There has never been anything like it created. In that, there is a section of how to raise your vibration, step-by-step -step processes, a list of ways to raise your vibration. There is nothing like it ever created. And to give you a small snippet, we have used some of the sections of the how to raise your vibration section to create a free course, how to raise your vibration for free, simply because we can. The seven weeks to enlightenment takes you on a step-by-step -step process right from the very start of your awakening, right to unity, one consciousness and enlightenment. The how to raise your vibration is a, is a taster, is a feeler course, so that you can enter into it and experience it. It has within it some of the videos out of the seven weeks and I would actually include this one as an oversight of five ways to raise your vibration as well as one of the first sections where we list filtering your water and etc etc what you put in you are as the body uses whatever you ingest as building blocks to grow the cells which it continuously is growing and creating new afresh every moment of every moment take the seven weeks from alignment course if you are serious about your journey and your awakening take the seven weeks from alignment course there's nothing like it it will change the entire fundamental aspect of your life if you wish to use the free course first as a taster or just take the free course You've got nothing to lose. Share it with all of your friends, all of your tribe, all of your family. Continue to inspire and enrich the lives of those around you by doing the work and continuing to be you. And the actual giveaway, the exciting announcement is that we are just about to release and launch our latest course, Energy Mastery. In this, there is all energy work basic concepts from chakras, how to cleanse, how to ground, how to protect your auric field, how to cut cords, create boundaries, raise your vibration, exist in gratitude, the power of the breath, etc., etc. It's all energy work based. As everything in existence is energy and seeing it in that truth and aligning with that truth and going through life, looking at everything just as energy vibrating at different frequencies brings with it such a sense of freedom and liberation that there is nothing that can be likened to it. Everything is energy, vibrating at different frequencies. Align yourself with that which you wish to experience in the universe around you in life, and you shall experience it. There is no alternative. And all this information is housed within our How to Manifest Your Abundance course, The Truth, The Law of Attraction. We are changing the world with every breath in and out that echoes for eternity around the entire universe. We are changing the very fabric of the universe. And as you continue to expand your consciousness, you create the continued expansion of the universe itself.
The universe has to expand in order to house your continued expansion of self. So, I humbly and eternally thank you for who you are and everything that you do. Remain in a place of creatorship. Choose everything you experience in life, knowing that it requires the darkest of days in order to see where the light is shining from and head towards it. I would like for you to just adopt and embody the truth. I choose this. I create this. Thy will be done. Write yourself a daily gratitude journal, starting from today or tomorrow. Align yourself with gratitude in everything you do. Be acceptant of everything that is taking place around you. Be kind to yourself and others. Know that you are worthy of everything around you as it is you. And just allow for all that to be channeled to you and accept it to flow it through you and to others around you. Stay mindful and aware of everything that is taking place and open to guidance. The fact you're watching this video shows me that you are already awakened and on the journey. And I am now guiding you towards taking the seven weeks to enlightenment course because it is time. It's time to remember who you are and fully and completely connect back to the truth to unlock and liberate yourself and everybody else. Head over to the website now, greatestversion.club and utilize the life-changing offers that are found there at the moment. The seven weeks to enlightenment course is currently on sale. So it will actually cost you less than a weekend away would, and it will create a holiday of a lifetime. Take advantage of things whilst they're there. Be open to receive. And by investing in yourself, you are showing the universe that you are investing in yourself and that the universe will then match that and invest in you as well. Flow everything through you. Be grateful for everything that you exchange energy for in return. Every time you buy something, buy it with gratitude. Thank you, universe, for being able to experience this event. And it will continue to escalate, to grow, to expand. Let go and live in that state of flow. Open to receive. And no, it's not about believing. It's about knowing. I know who I am. And I know who you are. And I know the worth and potential that you embody, that you are in all ways. I see you. I understand you. And I believe in you as I am an aspect of you. Thank you once again for continuing upon your journey. Thank you for being part of mine. Thank you for watching this video that is almost at 3333. And... I look forward to connecting with you again on a deeper level very soon. If you have not done so, ensure you subscribe to the YouTube channel, share this video with anybody it may assist. Now and forever, we are in this together. United we stand and together we rise. Grand rising, we you beautiful, beautiful souls. And until next time. I nearly forgot. In order to win the Energy Mastery course for free, in order to gain it for free, you've already won. Life is the gift. There is nothing left to win. There is never a battle. There is never a war. It's just the experience. But in order to actually claim that which is yours and take this course for free, investing the money is one way of investing. Investing the time and energy is what I actually want from you. It is the self-investment, the self-dedication to bring with it the 
alignment with self-worth and the life of your dreams, the life that you deserve, joining the club, greatestversion.club. So in order to gain the course for free, as it were, all you need to do, if you are watching this on YouTube, like the video, comment on it, and then actually utilize this video for the next 10 days. You don't necessarily have to watch it every day, but what I would like for you to do is comment on it every day. Comment on it, letting us all know what you have been doing to raise your vibration day to day. Spend 10 days focused upon yourself, upon raising your vibration and aligning with who you are. Comment in the comment section to the video on YouTube, everything you've done, inspiring other people and assisting them along their journey and also letting me know how you're doing and where you are upon yours as I will continue to share my truth and where I am at on my journey with you day by day, moment by moment. Now being the only time that ever exists. So to gain the course for free it is priced at a very affordable price anyway but to gain it at absolutely no investment other than the time required. Simply like this video on YouTube, subscribe to the channel if you have not yet done so, and comment for 10 days in a row what you have done to raise your vibration. I am holding you responsible for 10 days to put yourself first, to do things to benefit yourself in raising your vibration. If you do this for 10 days, you will have already benefited yourself and then I will gift you the course for free to continue upon that journey to betterment. This is my gift to you. This is our gift to you as we are united in this. There is no separation, only the illusion of it. And I thank you eternally for who you are and for everything that you do infinite blessings and until next time namaste thank you for who you are and all you continue to do thank you for continuing to gain the knowledge the wisdom for continuing to look within and doing the work required to bring freedom to not only yourself but everybody else as you continue to do the work as you continue to expand your consciousness and awareness, you continue the expansion and awareness of everybody else, helping others to break free from that limitation and illusion of old. Continue to support me in all I do. Continue to grow the movement and continue to grow yourself.